let's open visual studio i am going to create a new project and then i am going to select the windows form app if you don't see in the left side ensure you type it here and you would be able to find with this filters hit on next and then let's provide a name i'll say my own calculator you can provide a very specific name and the solution i'm going to say solution and leave everything as it is and hit on next in the framework let me select .net 8.0 that is the latest one as of date i am going to click on create wait for few seconds and now you can see the blank form is available for us to get started on my screen there is a calculator form this is how we are going to design our new calculator for this let's bring the form to the specific size we need and then start dragging and dropping the specific things that we need for example we'll start with the button let me drag and drop a button and let's resize this button open the properties and here in the property let's increase the font of this to bold and the size of this to 28 and click on okay so this is how it appears now here in this font of this next the text that's supposed to appear i will write the number 0 here now this is how your button is appearing you can slightly resize just to ensure it appears as you need it now let's hit on the control key and copy one above this and then hit on the control key hold the control key and you can drag something like this all right now let's again select all this thing control again control so now we have got all the things let's name them so while naming highlight the button go to the properties panel and here ensure the text is highlighted if not simply you can click on this now you can see all the buttons are there all you have to do simply highlight this and try to type one and then highlight the second one try to type two highlight the third one type to type three similar way let's proceed four five six seven eight and nine so all our buttons are done now again hit on the control key let's drag another two buttons this button i would type a decimal and this button i will type a c for clearing it out now let's hit on the control key drag one more button let's increase this something like this maybe something like this and here let's type the equals to symbol now let's drag this buttons control paste it here and then let's change the values let me do it again by giving little space yep and then i can increase this to slight to adjust this let's change it so the very first thing we'll give a plus sign next we will give a minus sign then we will give maybe a multiplication sign and then we can give a division sign okay so all these things are now done next thing that you need is a text box simply type text box drag and drop your text box here and enlarge this particular width and height now how do you increase the height highlight the text box go to the property panel of the text box and here there is a option called multi line here is the multi line option enable it to true then what i'm going to do i'm going to simply drag this multi line to something like this 
you can adjust according to the need and slightly increase this increase the border of this so now you can see it has got the calculator look now what we have to do we have to start designing before you start designing again couple of things on the text box let's change the font of the text box i would change it to maybe 16 and uh, you can keep it bold regular whatever you want so i'll keep it bold in 16 or maybe regular in 16 click on ok and then there is a option here test align in the test align you keep it to the right side so the whatever you type it will appear on the right side of the text with that the ui design the front end design is done now we have to code at the back end before you start coding the important thing that we have to do is open the calculator on your computer and see how it behaves for example if you are typing one it comes the moment i'm typing two it comes three it comes so what is happening actually it is trying to concatenate the values right you can see whatever i'm clicking on the values are getting concatenate so how can i design in my calculator let's see that now for this what you do the zero has to be done in a different way what why you know you have to code it separately i'll tell you the moment i'm typing zero 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 multiple times you can see nothing changes here so there's a different behavior but the moment you click on one 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 what happens it, it is getting concatenate so the zero has to be coded in a different way now what we will do we'll double click on one double click on one so what happens a private sub gets automatically created the very first thing what we will do we will change the name i will say number click so here i am providing a separate procedure name and then you can see button 2 has automatically appeared let's see the name of all the buttons if you click on one what is the button name here button 2 if you click on 2 the button name is button 3 similar way you check the numbers will be increasing button 5 button 6 button 6 button 7 like that the 9 has button 10 so total all the buttons are there let's go back to our code all you have to do simply put a comma and then copy paste this one almost nine times so one is already there so i'll copy two three four five six seven eight nine so nine times i have copied now what do you do you have to simply rename these buttons okay the copy didn't work let me try again so one two three four five six seven and then eight and then nine now let's do the renaming so button two then i'm going to say it as button three then i will say it as button four button five button 5 button 6 button 7 button 8 button 9 that's all i think rest we have to delete let me go to the right 7 8 9 okay this is extra ones i copied by mistake I'm going to delete it all right so once you have deleted all this now you can see there are a lot many buttons i would like to bring them little down so what i will do i'll keep my mouse cursor before this button and then type the underscore and hit on enter so what happens everything will come down even i think button three also i can bring it down 
let me remove this properties panel so that we can see it properly now here button 8 also underscore come down so everything comes at one place so that it's easy to see underscore okay so now you can see all the buttons are now half cup okay if i go like this button 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so all buttons have come so what is the event click when you click on any of this button what's supposed to happen is the question now for this we will first create a variable so i'll say dim so what you need you need the text value of the button so i'll say button value i'm creating a variable called button value which is going to hold the value of the button as button so what what is the data type button and after you declare you can also assign the value how would you assign the value of the button directly so for that you have to first convert and you have to use something called an object called sender this object called sender comma and then i have to write button so what what happens here let me explain you okay so this is the important very important code so here what i have written button value as button c type that means convert the type button and put the value to the sender object so this is an object that you have to use sender okay so if you highlight here it says it's a it's an object it's a parameter which can hold values for you on the go when you are executing it can hold the value so what happens the button has a value for example it has a it has a text value called one two three four five six seven eight nine so any button that you are clicking based on that so whatever you click for example i clicked on one so what happens the one value will come to the sender and then you can it will come to the button value variable and from here you can extract the values now let's go back to our design form so this is the text box let's see the property of the text box right click property and if you look at the property of this the name of this text box is text box one so what i will do i'll come here because this is where the value should appear i'm going to type text box one dot text okay now you saw the behavior of the calculator when i'm typing one and then if i'm typing two what happens it's concatenates so for that i'm going to use a concatenate symbol and say equals to so what happens when you do this concatenate and equals to symbol one two three so it first let's say you typed one so the first one value will come appear in the text box then you are typing two again one two is a total value so it concatenates the new click and arch to the text box okay and there is also another way instead of ampersand you can also use plus equals to anything will work so i'll here i'll go with ampersand equals to and then i would say button value variable dot text so this dot text only happened because of the previous line here we are passing the button properties to this variable and this variable now can access the properties for example dot text is a property of that button so that way let's say i'm going to click on one then the one will appear then i'm typing two if i'm clicking on two then the two will appear in the text box so that is the meaning now let's test this only this much code we have written very simple code okay let me minimize the properties panel just to see the entire code how it appeared all right now let's run this and see how it works now if you see the calculator has come now what i'm going to type now look at it i'm going to first click on one so what happens one value will appear in the text box i'm clicking on one so one appeared now let's say i'm going to clicking on five so what happens five appeared so button value dot text the new value is five and it gets concatenated with the previous value and appears in the text box let me type three six five so whatever i'm typing you can see how nicely it is coming so the first coding is done let me close this now comment and tell me there is something which is missing in the code did you realize while i am running the code let me run it again and show you what is exactly missing if i am going to click on 9 see it's not appearing if i'm clicking on 8 it's appearing but 9 is not working so do you know what you have to do with the code 
if you look at the nine open the properties what is the name of this button button 10 if i go back to the code the button 10 click event is not written here so what are you supposed to do write it so copy this and then paste copy comma and then paste it and then simply change this to 10 that's all let me save it and run the code again now if you type 9 you can see it is coming that was the mistake in the code next thing we have to program the zero so zero button has a different behavior let's program the button zero now to code the button zero all you do simply double click on this button and once the procedure comes all you do simply rename this procedure to something else so i would say i'll come here and i will say button zero maybe i'll give a name so button zero is the procedure name give a space now let's write the code so now to write the code you have to use a if condition so i'll say if now button zero what is the name of the button button one dot click right so button zero so this depends on the text box so if for example if the text box is blank if somebody is clicking on zero then it should not do anything so for that what i have to say text box one dot text is equals to string dot empty that means if the value is empty then do nothing else if value is blank then if somebody is clicking on 000 multiple times then it should not do anything else if the value is there then what it's supposed to do text box one dot text again the same technique ampersand equals to then it should type the text zero getting it pretty simple code now let me save this code and run it and now if you see if i am going to click on zero there is no values here so as per the code if the string is empty if somebody is clicking on this see nothing happens you can see nothing happens now let's say i am putting one i am writing one and then typing zero 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 then it works if I'm typing 2, again typing 0, 0, 0, then it works. If I'm typing 3, again typing 0, it works. You getting it? So this is what the code has done for the button 0. The next thing that we have to focus is the decimal. Let's open the calculator on your computer. Now if you see, if the text box is empty, and when you are clicking on this dot, what happens? it gets 0 0.1 then you can type it after typing it if i'm clicking on the dot again you can see nothing happens for example if i say 1 dot 2 once again if i click on dot you can see nothing happens so this is the behavior we have to reach let's code it now let's go to our calculator and double click on the decimal and here let's name this for decimal i'm doing it and then let's see what we have to write we'll start with the if condition like we have done it for the zero same thing we'll copy paste copy it and paste if text box one dot text is equal to string dot empty then what you should do then what I want is simple this. I want the text box one dot text ampersand equals to again ampersand equals to I want to write what zero dot. This is what I want to write. If it is empty, it should write dot when it is clicked now 
next what i will do i'll use a else if condition else if else if the next condition if it already contains a decimal anyone clicking on the decimal it should not create or write one more decimal so i'll say else if not text box 1 dot text contains in double quote i am saying contains dot then that means what not so here we have used not M means text box 1 dot text does not contain dot if it does not contain dot then what supposed to do copy this enter paste it here then it should type a dot only when it does not contain a decimal then it should type the decimal if it contains a decimal then it should not type so this is what exactly you have to write for the decimal let's save this and test our code let's see the very first behavior what we want when it is blank when i'm clicking on this you can see zero dot has appeared okay fine then after that i should be typing and if i click on the decimal again you can see the decimal is not appearing it is exactly working how i want okay so you can see after that if i'm hitting on decimal nothing works so the code has been done so let's close this go back to our design next thing we have to design the c this is for clearing so let's double click on this and let's change the name and say clear clear space and then hit on enter and now what you should write again it goes the same way copy this and i have to say when somebody does this then it should say string dot empty it should clear it that's all pretty simple code let's save this and run it now now when i'm running let's see let's say i'm typing one dot two three the dot doesn't work that works still good so now let me clear it done so whatever you are typing and then i'm i'm trying to clear it you can see it works pretty well let me close this and now go back to our code next we have to name all these buttons properly this is a plus sign minus multiplication and division for this let's go let me highlight the plus sign and go to the properties of the plus sign and go to the design now you can see it has got a default name called button 14 let me change it to plus similar way let's do for all other buttons now i have renamed all of them let's click on the plus sign double click on the plus sign and now this is what comes let me remove the properties panel and now focus on the code first of all let's change the name i will say operators okay i'll give a procedure name called operators and here for the plus button we have got it similar way we have to get it for the other buttons let's write button minus dot click I'll use a underscore hit enter and come down and here i'm going to say write button multiply dot click comma next thing i am going to write button divide dot click so you have written all of them okay so let's the multi line did not work let me bring it like this use underscore hit enter 
I still have the error. Let me do one thing. Let me hit, all, hit on backspace and you can see the code is fine now. All right. After that, we have to actually write our code. So what we want, we want text box one. When somebody clicks on it, you want a plus sign, minus sign. So for example, if you if I open the calculator, just to show you the behavior, for example, I'm typing one, then I'm writing a plus, then I'm typing five, then writing a minus. So what is happening here? The plus minus things are coming, right? Now, how we achieve that? So I will say text box one dot text ampersand equals to to add the values and then you remember for button text value what we have done last time we use c type on the top we have done this sender comma button and then we can simply say dot text pretty simple single line code so let me save this and run the code and show you this i have already explained you how the button properties the text properties get carried over if i run it and for example, I'm typing one plus, you can see we've got a plus sign, two minus six multiplied five, right? Divide three. So whatever I'm writing, this is how the, it appears in the text box, right? You can see. So this is the code for that. Pretty single line code. All you have to do is simply write all the buttons at one line and then write this code. That does the job pretty well. At last, we are going to write the code, the very important code for the calculator. That is the equals to symbol. Let me double click on this one. And here we have to write it. This is very important. So here, let me name it equals to because this is where the exact calculation happens of your calculator. So this is very important. Let's hit on enter. Let's see some of the variables we need to ensure the value of that calculation stays at one place. And remember, our calculator is slightly a complicated one. Okay. So I'll say equals, there's some, I think is a method name. So I'm saying equals to click some, you give a proper name. Let's write some expression. Now, what do you need? You need certain variables. So we'll say dim. I'll create a variable called expression as string equals to text box one dot text. So that means what I'm saying, the expression that is written in the calculator, we have written one plus two minus three, whatever you have written, that expression, the text value will be carried over to a variable called expression. Clear? Now I need another variable to store the result as a result as object. So what is the object data type here? Object means it can carry any kind of values. Okay. So result also getting a green symbol. Unused local variable. Okay. That's fine. We are going to use it. Now the next thing what we need. We need a data table. So dim. I will say table as new data table. Okay, this is the expression. Now, what is the use of this? Have you seen in Excel? You go to a cell and you write equals to and write your expression. In the Excel formulas, how you write in a cell, you use a equals to symbol and you write the expression. So now Excel is more like a, it's a table, right? Excel has tables and there you write your expression. The similar way we are trying to do it here. We are creating a data table, which is more like a Excel table on which we will do the calculation. So let's, let me show you. It will be more clear when I use it. So I'll say result equals to, then I have this variable table variable, right? So I'll use table dot compute. So data table means imagine it is an Excel. The data type is Excel. So I'm creating an Excel kind of a thing environment table dot there is something called compute compute is the method like you write equals to symbol in excel similar way you will write compute here and then it requires two different parameters one is your expression as string and the filter criteria as string so what i will do the expression is here in our variable expression 
right the expression variable contains it so i will simply say expression comma then i will say string dot empty because we don't have a filter criteria so i'll simply say string dot empty pretty simple so what this will do understand what this will do imagine in an excel you're writing equals to symbol and then writing your formula let's say a1 plus a2 minus a3 whatever the formula you are writing it is going to calculate in excel similar way the entire expression that you have written in the calculator text box is available here and then this is for the filter criteria because we don't have a filter criteria that means a value should be greater than this the age should be any filter criteria so we don't have that's why we are writing string dot empty so this expression with this compute method it is going to automatically calculate for you you don't have to write single single expressions a you know this plus this you don't have to do this pretty simple and very powerful this is actually a very powerful expression it's a heavy lifting expression that we have written for our calculator pretty single line and very powerful it will do all the calculation that you need doesn't matter how complicated the calculation is pretty simple and once this is done then what do i want the result should appear in the text box so i'll say text box one dot text is equals to result because result is an object result dot to string i'm converting that back to to string so that way the new value is going to appear okay so let's see how it works let's save it run my own calculator and check this for example i am writing 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 so this is a expression now if i am going to hit on equals to symbol you can see it has got 5 let's do it again let's clear the value 1 plus 5 plus 6 uh, minus 1 into 2 divided by uh, let's say 2 click on it so what is the value i have got 11 right let's try something else 1 minus uh, 3 minus 2 so it is giving all the different calculation 5 divided by 6 is giving a decimal value so now you can see it is fully capable now only this expression still there is something wrong you know what is it i'll tell you for example 3 minus 2 into 6 and i'm using a plus sign at the end for example any symbol and i'm going to click on equals to so what happened you can see there's a syntax error has come so that plus sign means this expression is not working at the end it has a plus sign and then it, it doesn't work so how to handle this kind of expressions plus minus multiplication anything you give at the end and you are not writing a number then the expression will not work it will fail here so how to handle this let me show you how you can handle it let's close it for this you have to use something called try catch block so let me say try tab and then you have to use a catch section here so catch tab and then you have to end try so what is it let me show you so try means it is going to try all of this if there is an exception so i'll create a variable called let's say x ex as exception so if there is an exception while trying this then you catch that exception and keep it in this variable and then you handle that that means it is holding that exception error and then what exactly it's supposed to do it is going to say text box one dot text is equals to anything you would like to show for example i would like to say error in expression it is going to show in the calculator okay so let's see how this one works let us save it so you understood right try try all these expressions if any problem happens like we saw that problem then the catch section will start executing and it is going to hold that error here rather than appearing in the screen and then it is going to change the value of the text in the calculator and say error in expression let's save this run it let's see how it works so the calculator has appeared 
let's try something 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 minus 5 equals to it works let's clear it 1 plus 2 minus 3 into 6 divided by let's say i'm writing the expression something like this which is a wrong expression the moment i click on this last time you can see the calculator has given an error but this time it did not give any error it said error in expression it showed the exact message what we have typed getting it so if this happens again you clear and write your expression once again but you can see this time it has given me an output so this is the entire coding we have completed now what is more important now is to understand how i can publish this particular project and use it that is important so for this what you do on the top there is something called build click on the build and here there is something called build solution rebuild solution clean solution run code analysis build my own calculator so here we are going to release this as a dot exe so when you double click on the file it, the application should work that is the that is what because we have created something we have want, wanted to use it right so what i will do i'll simply say build my own calculator you click on this or you can also use control b let me click on this now here you can see in the output build completed very quickly so build is complete after you have built there is something called publish selection what is it publish selection let's click on publish selection the moment it does it will ask you where would you like to publish it on azure on click one on docker or folder so here because we'll be doing on our system i'll be selecting folder and hit on next then it again asks you publish your application to a local folder or file share publish your application with click one so you select the folder option here and then hit on next now here this is how the default file would look like for local folders you can provide either full path or a relative path to the project for example publish relative path c drive user username document wherever you like to save it you can do it for network drive this is how you have to write they have given a certain few things so we can browse it and do it so for for the moment i'll just leave it as it is and hit on finish if you would like to change the location you can do it hit on finish and you can see the entire path has come rakesh repos my own calculator my own calculator so this is the path where it got created okay now all you do simply close it and it has shown you the path where it is and uh, let's hit on publish okay now you can see the publish completed in it, it happens pretty quickly so this is the target location let's go to this target location and you can see if you click on this this is where it got published and here, here you have your calculator let me double click on this and you can see the calculator has come let's do some calculation so finally the product is ready right and then see if i use like this error in expression so the final product is ready for us you can see my calculator my product is ready and i've published it on my computer to use it so thank you guys for watching i think you have learned a lot of things please try it out and do comment in the comment section how many of you were able to create your own calculator thanks